Alright guys and welcome to another video. So a lot of people have been asking me about my thoughts on classic TBC servers. So I thought in this video I'll talk about the likeliness of it happening, when I think it's going to release, but mainly talking about how I think these servers should actually release. So I think they're very likely to happen, at the end of the day it makes a lot of logical sense for Blizzard to naturally progress into making TBC servers, it will make them a lot of money without much cost, in fact probably little to like no cost, well there will obviously be some cost, but largely less cost than for instance making a new expansion, so to my in my eyes it's definitely going to make them a lot of money so I don't see why they wouldn't do it. Obviously that survey got leaked which massively increased the likelihood of it actually releasing. I think it will get announced probably at the next BlizzCon which is obviously in November. About the time when people have been playing Classic for a very long time, about that time we're probably going to be doing Nax Ramus and honestly getting a little bit probably bored of Classic while well not everyone's going to get bored of it, but some people be, will be like burnt out and you know finish with Classic WoW and probably obviously want to mess around on TBC servers and that's probably not when they'll naturally announce it and you know progress into releasing it. So the first big question a lot of people ask is should Draenei and Blood Elf races be released early? I definitely think they should be released one month early in a pre-patch because obviously there was a pre-patch when the Burning Crusade actually released. I think it's called, I think it's 1.9 or something, no maybe something else. Or is it 2 point, could be 2.0, I feel like it's like 1.99 or something like that. Anyway, that's irrelevant. So, obviously there will be a pre-patch where the class get, class over classes get all their changes, but I definitely think during that time, you may as well release Draenei and Blood Elf so people can kind of level up those races if they want to play those races, and, you know, not feel like they're going to massively get left behind if they want to make a new race. And particularly when, like, if people are playing Horde and they really want to make, you know, a Paladin, like the board of a main class and want to play a Paladin or someone of the Alliance wants to play a Shaman, they will have to re-roll onto a Draenei or Blood Elf to play those classes. So those people will massively, obviously, fall behind in the leveling process. And that will be quite frustrating and just generally irritating for a lot of people. So definitely giving people a month to catch up to level 60 is definitely going to be a good idea in my opinion. I know a lot of people are really obsessed with authenticity in the classic community and this wouldn't be an authentic Burning Crusade release, but in my opinion it would be a better form of release because again it would be less frustrating if people wanted to re-roll their class. And at the end of the day I don't think Blizzard really care about authenticity as much as some people in the community do because they wouldn't have added all the changes that they did to classic. Now. The next big question is, should the expansion release with 2.4.3 talent system and itemization? So, in my opinion, I don't think they should. The issue with that is because if you look at Classic's release, like Molten Core cleared, what, in the first week of release? Like, all the content was cleared very, very, very quickly, and honestly, it was pretty face roll. In my experience in raiding, like, I thought Ragnaros was going to be a lot harder. I think... I did it in my second attempt. I was expecting to like wipe loads of times before I managed to get Ragnaros down. To put it in persp into perspective, I'm playing on Endless WoW at the moment, which overtunes the raiding content of the Burning Crusade raids. I spent two raid nights trying to down the first boss of Gruels before we got it down because it was that difficult. And that's obviously better than just like doing it on second attempt. And the issue with Classic was they didn't overtune the content. Right, you had all characters with ex overtuned talents, overtuned gear going into a raid that they were way overtuned for, and that's why Molten Core was cleared so easily. In and to be honest, my whole raiding experience with Classic has I've just felt it's way too easy. I think it's largely the reason why I've, you know I play the game a lot less now. I just find it way too easy. I, I defeated Nefari in the first attempt as well, and we were making jokes about you know was that actually a boss? because it really didn't feel that difficult, and I feel like that's a massive issue. It's the main reason why I've actually decided to play Endless, because I feel like Blizzard will not make the effort to overtune content or undertune the characters. They can either undertune the talents, or undertune the gear, or they can overtune the content. I definitely think they should, to make the content more authentic to what it was like. Um, obviously, I, I did you know moan about authenticity at the beginning of the video, but... In, in this in this area, it does actually matter because you want the content to actually be challenging. You don't just want to steamroll the content in the first two weeks and then get bored of the content. Like I've played, I've got ten days playtime in Endless Wild right now, so that's two hundred and forty hours, and I still haven't cleared every single raid. 
I, I haven't done Magfaradons yet because it's that difficult. And every time I log in, there's always something new to do and there's always something, you know, to work towards, like trying to improve my gear to make myself better for a certain raid, because it's actually that difficult. So my point is, I don't want the Burning Crusade raids and dungeons and heroics to release and they're just way too easy to, to get through. Because if they do release really easy, especially the heroics, people can grind and grind heroics like all day, get loads of um, emblem gear, which will make them way too overpowered for the raids. In On Endless Wild, I actually find the heroic dungeons more difficult than the raids in, in some cases because of that overtuned. And honestly, I think they're a little bit too overtuned. I think they need to be tuned a little bit less. But I don't think that'll matter soon because tier 5 content's coming out soon anyway and it'll be a bit more easy. But yeah, people will just be able to grind heroics all day. Like, a lot of people think that the, the natural progress and progression in the Deburning Crusade is to do normal dungeons and then do heroics. But it's actually not. You should do you should be doing normal dungeons like Shadow Lab or the big dungeons like Shadow Labs, Shattered Holes and Steam Vaults amongst quest gear like long quest chains which give you blue gear and then you're pretty much ready to go for raids. And, you, in my opinion, you actually do need a little bit of raid gear before you can smoothly run a, like, an heroic dungeon. For instance, you will need defense cap to r run a heroic dungeon as a tank. Because the heroics are actually that difficult, and it's, you know, you've got way more pressure because there's only five of you, and you can't, like, rely on other people as much. You, everyone is under way more, way more pressure. So, I, I feel like if the TBC is released and the content's way too easy, people will just grind loads and loads of heroic dungeons get way too over gear for the raids and make the gate the, sorry the raids even more irrelevant and i think it'd be really bad and honestly i think the content either needs to be over tuned or the classes the talents and just the abilities and everything like that need to be under tuned however which, which way builds want to do it there definitely needs to be a change there and i hope they actually make the effort and put the work in to do that because that will be very important because if, honestly i probably will not play Burning Crusade if if they don't overtune the content. It will just be such a disappointment. Like, I just know it will be crap. <laughs> like, I'll probably play it for like two weeks and then get bored of it because I'll clear all the content very, very quickly. And I, I don't want, personally, I just don't want that to happen. There's other questions in mind, like the rep reputation requirements. So in early Burning Crusade, there was a, you yeah, basically had to get rev revered to get the keys for the dungeons in the first place. So it actually took you quite a lot of time to unlock heroic dungeons, which I did like, because it meant that you actually went to the raids before you went to the heroic dungeons, so you couldn't grind loads of heroic gear and loads of emblems to obviously make you way too powerful for the raids and make the raids irre irrelevant. And most private servers, even though the rep requirement was revered at the beginning of a TBC and then later, I think in the Sunwell patch, it was changed to only being honoured, or it could have been Black Temple patch actually, I can't remember. Um, they, they, most private servers change that. be interesting to see if Blizzard change that. I think Blizzard should release the Burning Crusade with the revered requirements to get the heroic dungeon keys because that is like a... it's not like a class issue, is it? It's an actual content issue. That is like, even though it's not necessarily actual content, but it's something to do with content. It's kind of like how in, in Classic they released, um, you know, the loot tables for for instance, Upper Blackrock Spire or something like that in Phase 1 were authentic to, well, kind of authentic to what they were like at the launch of the cl of Classic. But obviously, the, 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 there's extra gear that can be looted from certain bosses, so from certain dungeons, which are only going to be released in later phases of the game. So it's kind of like a similar issue to that, and I definitely think they should definitely not release the TBC with only an honoured honored re reputation requirement to get heroic dungeons because then people, like I said before, will just get unlock the heroic dungeons way too quickly and make all the raids irrelevant with their heroic gear because some of the heroic gear is pretty on par to the raid gear. I mean, heroics, they are mainly for gear filling, like rather than actual gear progression, like you're filling a few pieces here and there until you get the raid gear or you farm emblems to get a filler piece like a Libram or a relic or something like that, or you found the emblems to get resistance gear, because there's loads of resistance gear that you can get too. And that's the way it should be. It shouldn't, you know, obviously the heroic gear shouldn't make the raids irrelevant. Anyway, I think I've covered everything I want to say, apart from the, I guess, the release date. I think it'll be released similar time to Classic was released. Like, if you count two years straight on from 
classic. I think that's when it will release. So not this, oh yeah, not this summer, but the summer after. I think that'll be probably when that when it will release. My estimation, anyway. I think it'll be earlier summer as well, maybe the end of the spring actually, rather than like the absolute end of summer because you don't want Naxxramas to be in a state, you know, the end state of classic to to last too long because people will. Like obviously get less and less interested in the game, but obviously it also depends on when Shadowlands will release or a big patch, like the first patch of Shadowlands, because they will not want to release like Shadowlands and the Burning Crusade at the exact same time. They definitely will not want to do that because Blizzard are kind of like obsessed with trying to get more and more people to play retail, even though it's an absolutely terrible game. Um, so they'll try and like the hardest to like spread the releases out over the year, which would be a very intelligent thing to do because they could just. You know, when people are getting bored of Shadowlands because they've cleared all the content, then the TBC will release, or a new patch in the T in TBC will release, which means that they will, you know, people will re stay subscribed to the game. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to maintain subscription numbers. So that's what they will do. They will almost treat the release of TBC or patches in TBC like extra content, and they'll, they'll probably view World of Warcraft in like as one thing. They pr probably already do this right now, like one spectrum where. Oh look, we'll release that patch for Shadowlands now, and then we'll progress into releasing a TBC patch a little bit after that. And then we'll, when people are a bit bored of TBC, we'll release a new patch in Shadowlands. I'll probably do it like that's basically how I would do it anyway, and it's probably how we're already doing it to be honest. But anyway, my name is Amanda Goblin. To my next video, ciao.